Christianity in Georgia is inextricably connected with the name of St. Nino. It is true that Christianity had existed in Georgia during the first century. However, the religion was seen as idolatrous and was practiced by only a small handful of the population. St. Nino dedicated her life not only to her beliefs, but also to the Georgian people. St. Nino was born in the Cappadocian city of Colossae in present-day Turkey. It is said that she was a close relative of St. George. St. Nino was the daughter of Zabulon, who was a Roman military leader, and Sosana, whose brother was the Patriarch of Jerusalem. When St. Nino was only 12, her parents sold everything and moved to Jerusalem. Her father decided to become a monk and left Sosana and Nino. Due to this, Sosana sent Nino to study with the nun Sarah Niafora, who was a tutor in the city of Bethlehem. Sarah and St. Nino's uncle taught the young St. Nino about Christianity. One story, the story of Christ's robe in Mitzcheta, had come to fascinate Nino. It was then, after she heard about the pagan Georgians guarding the sacred robes, that Nino decided to go to Georgia and teach them about Christianity. St. Nino, with the permission of the Patriarch of Jerusalem, was allowed to preach in Georgia. In the city of Ephesus, St. Nino met St. Hripsime and her stepdaughter, St. Guyon, who were teaching Christianity in the area. St. Nino lived with them for two years. However, due to the persecutions of Christians in the Roman Empire, St. Nino, together with St. Hripsime, St. Guyon, and 50 other followers, left the borders of the Roman Empire for the relative safety of nearby Armenia. Unfortunately, all, except for St. Nino, were executed by the Armenian king Tordati III. After escaping death, St. Nino entered Georgia near Paravani Lake in the country's Javakati region, where she rested for two days. On her way to Mitzcheta, she followed the route of the Midkwadi River through Chetvisi and Akhaltsihe. When she ultimately reached the town of Utnisi in Chidakartli, she rested for a month. Thanks to her excellent understanding of Hebrew, she was able to learn Georgian and the pagan traditions of the Georgian people from the local Jewish community. She ultimately made her way to Mitzcheta while following pagan worshippers who were traveling to the idol of Armazi located in Mitzcheta. Upon reaching Mitzcheta, St. Nino attended the feasts of Armazi, Gatsi, and Gaim, the three predominant pagan deities of Georgia. St. Nino, horrified by the pagan rituals, prayed to her god that the Georgians would see the faults of their religion. Suddenly, a thunderstorm swept through Mitzcheta, with hail and strong winds destroying the statues of the pagan gods. Additionally, she destroyed a pagan temple on a hill overlooking Mitzcheta and built a Christian church on its spot. Saint Nino settled just outside of Mitzcheta in order to begin preaching Christianity to the Georgians. Lacking religious icons and materials, she made a cross by tying two grapevines together with her hair. While in Mitzcheta, Saint Nino cured the ill, most notably the crippled Queen Nana, and, in the process, converted Nana to Christianity. King Mediani III remained suspicious of Christianity. However, during a hunting accident in the woods which rendered him blind, he prayed to the god of Saint Nino in an act of desperation. After he finished his prayer, he could see again. He quickly returned to Mitzcheta, where he began to preach Christianity himself. In 326, Georgia officially converted to Christianity. King Mediani reported his and Georgia's conversion to Byzantine Emperor Constantine, who sent clergymen to Kartli to assist Mediani in the appointment of bishops and priests. King Mediani also ordered the construction of Georgia's first Christian church, which was built on the spot of the present-day Svetitskhoveli Cathedral. St. Nino died in Bodbe, in Kakheti. In a show of respect for St. Nino, King Mediani built a monastery in Bodbe. Today, St. Nino is revered by all Georgians as the mother of Georgia. Through her works, St. Nino single-handedly converted Georgia to Christianity thereby creating one of the most prominent features of Georgia's history and culture, which would forever change the course of the country. For more information about Georgia, visit our website, 
www.visiting-georgia.com. Thanks for watching.